6.38, June 11th, and I've arrived at my summer job at CYO Camp in Occidental. I will be the art lead for this summer, and I'll try my best, obviously. And I have my tea set ready to also send appreciation and love to the universe for honestly showing me how good it gets because <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. I traveled by myself and it really, it really healed me and it always heals me, it always shows me something great. And I realized that there is pain there's fear, there's grief to be released, and to also not identify with those things, the fear, the anxieties, especially with being around people, <laughs> new people, and <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I really wanted to honestly just say like I'm so grateful for everything, for everyone who has and continues to be a part of my life. I really had a good goodbye from my mom and brother and I was able to speak to my dad and my sister. I'm aware that I have lived in in my family's house for over 23 years and I am like oh yeah this is gonna be the first time <laughs> that I'm actually living with people for longer than like a week to 10 days and so I bought snacks for them I <laughs> put sticky notes on things I rearranged the room I'm sharing with my roommate because the feng shui was very off and it's still kind of off because of multiple things but we'll leave it because I don't want to move it too much without asking them for permission if it's okay and what they like as well it's so analog <laughs> I don't know if that's like a actual word in English I think it is no it is it is it is. English is my first language. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it is a really analog space. I have no service here. <laughs> Thank God. No one can reach me. <laughs> and I have valid reason. I always have valid reason to say no. But I tend to betray myself in that way. And I'm working on it. And I'm really aware of myself during this time, the most aware and conscious I've ever been. And so that's why with, especially with welcoming people into my space and sharing myself, oh my god, my voice just, <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited, that's, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. It's not supposed to be known until it happens. And I know that everything is meant to be as it is and I'm really grateful. I wanna speak about my journey. That's why I want to keep recording and speaking about my myself, myself and, and not continuing to include others in the ways where I am projecting my own experiences onto them and in other words that's just not including you in the sentence and I realized that this was something I was actively living out and it really dawned on me here as I met my boss um, Emily and also I day pretty sure that's her name I'm I gotta remember these names. There's a lot of names to remember. And I want to just 
allow myself the space. Because there's just me. There's always just me. And it's so incredible how I experience life and how I experience joy and freedom and peace and so much love. So much. I am love. That's literally what I am. And I want to share it. I, I share with myself. That's why I want to share it with the world. And that is why I'm here. And so... Honestly, we'll go ahead and um, if you have your own drink, go ahead and take a conscious and mindful drink. Thank you. I'm so excited <laughs> to meet these people and <laughs> cook food for them. That's something I'm really excited for. I didn't realize how many spices there'd be here, but it's plentiful. I'm always so abundant and I have so much more than I ever need. I am continuing to live within my alignment and realigning and redirecting myself. Understanding that the redirection is to align and that it's not something about being wrong or worse or better. It is what works. And what works for me is to release and relinquish myself into honestly the abandon of my love, of love for all and harm to none. I send so much healing to all those who also need it. And love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.